Hello again, and after that the episode of the Earthquake Blast Furnace, let's make another multi-block structure that looks so much like the Earthquake Blast Furnace, you can say is the same thing, but with a different purpose. Let us make the multi smelter. This new, the multi smelter is so close to the Earthquake Blast Furnace that it's almost the same thing. We start with the energy, then the input, then the output, and then the maintenance hatch in the back as before. And you also need the heat proofing casings. Very simple. Let us see if everything is on correctly place. Now for the first, then above the ah, of course he goes the console. <laughs> above this we have a row of coils. The same coils we use on the electric blast furnace right here, but this time it's only this tall. That's the only difference between. The electric blast furnace and the multi smelter uh, along the console is that it's just one row of coils. And more heat proofings, the muffler, range to correct side, and you have the control, the multi smelt control. It smelts up to 6 to 18 eatings at once. As you see, same as ever. And the recipe, it is not terrible. Let us place this here. Wait for a bit. And you will see the same messages again. What we need to do is fix this. Yoink. <laughs> As I say, Diary Wolf. Diary Wolf. And now it's almost ready. Just Remedy to enable then let us get our battery placed correctly fill with the small little batteries it requires just two but I like to make four of them what is the mode smelter? well as the name say it smelts more than just one stuff at once this is more this is the most closely to the rail crafty steam, steam, o steam oven where it cooked nine items at once. This, as the, as the two, two tips say, is six up to maximum of eighteen. This is actually capped at the coils. Copper nickel is the most basic one, so it can only smelt six, uh, six items. The canto, however, it was about 12, and the nichrome, ni the 18 items. You just simply place the... You just place the item you want to smelt in the input, in input like this, 6 cobblestone, and it will start to running. Let's type out the debugger so you can see the informations, and it says, you take 25, 25 seconds, and some 100% effective is. So very soon we should get our 6 stone here. And done. We have our stone. Yay! This is a, a good way to cook a, month, a long time of items at once. And I think it is actually cheaper. However, be warned that this will also work in a hobby wing, in a hobby way. If you have different items like gold, iron, and cobblestone, it will do the same thing as the aircraft cooking sting, sting oven. It will take one of each item and then repeat itself. On the scale, in this this case, it will take two of each one. So let us activate this quickly and 
As you can see, it took two of each item into place here. Now it's a good way, a good time to talk to you about the difference of the inputs and outputs. As I said before, the only thing that changed on this is the machine hole, and the machine hole is what determines how many slots to have. This one is ultra low, so have only one, not very much useful. This one is what we use, bef use, use now, the low voltage, four slots, not bad. But if you plan to use the multi smelter for a for for real, you should upgrade to medium voltage to have nine slots later, and then when you can to a high voltage. So you have all sixteen slots, and you do this for both input and output, and you'll be fine. You have a lot of items to smelt at once. Don't forget what to make the voltage of multi blocks is the energy hatch. Maybe someday you get to the point where you can make a higher voltage, which will probably melt a lot faster. Let's see. Everything is normal. I guess. Let's enable it. Now let us place our gold here and it don't work oh, what? wait, what? oh, <laughs> wrong side Let's go again, and here we are. Six seconds. <laughs> Pretty fast, huh? And we have our gold. I wonder how much we'll take on the low voltage one. Let's see, shall we? Let's place here. And let's check. The 25 seconds, so it's fixed on the voltage. So the higher the voltage, the faster it will run. So we can, if you make a higher voltage of Nichrom, it you cook stacks and stacks very quickly in a flash. This is Zung. Thank you for watching this little one. And see you again, or not.